Hey everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Cafe. My name is Isaac. We are back playing some more City Skyline Snowfall. Last episode, we got things started. We set up a nice little residential area over here as well as a little bit of a commercial area over on this side, which is currently having a bit of an issue with workers that we'll probably end up fixing uh, kind of straight away in this episode because our demand for residential is quite high. I haven't done a whole lot since the end of last episode. I mostly just kind of sat around and let my city like accumulate some money. You can see right now we're at $132,000, which is quite nice. Uh, and should give us quite a bit of money to work with throughout the course of today's episode. And uh, there were a few weird issues that we had in between episodes. Namely, with our power situation. We currently have two coal power plants. Uh, we've got one here and then one over here. And both of them, uh, throughout the course of like the time between this episode and last episode, uh, both of them went down. Uh, and said that they didn't get, they weren't getting enough fuel to keep running, and so we lost about a hundred megawatts worth of power uh, to the entirety of our city, which meant I had to build some more of these wind turbines and one of these advanced wind turbines. But then they kind of just came back online at some point. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't happen again because right now we're producing 152 megawatts, which is like double what we need. But a hundred of it is coming from our coal power plants, which uh, so far have been a little bit fickle. Uh, also, we had a really weird thing happen with industry because. Because at the end of last episode, like after, like within the first 10 minutes after last episode, my demand for industry was like sky high. And it stayed there for about like 20 minutes. And then it suddenly just kind of flicked. And the demand for industry went way down. All of these guys started saying that they don't have enough workers. And then the demand for residential shot up. So it seems to be a little bit fickle right now. Our city is definitely in its infancy, but that's fine. Uh, one of the things that I do want to start working on in today's episode is a little bit of public transport. Uh, I might end up getting a tram depot down. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to go with that yet. Uh, I'll just start out with buses for now because buses are a lot cheaper. The bus depot costs 30000 whereas the tram depot uh, does cost 40000 which makes it a little bit more expensive. Also, we have to go through and upgrade all of our roads, whereas with the buses, uh, we just have to put down some bus stops. So it's a little bit cheaper that way. But before we start looking at any of that, I would kind of like to fill out some of our districts a little bit more. I'm going to have like one district here, another one over here and then like a big industrial district over on this side as well and i'd like to get them both a little bit fuller before we start putting down like public transport all over the place because right now traffic isn't too bad around the city occasionally i see it get pretty busy along this road but if we go and take a look at the city as a whole for the most part everything's fine there's a little bit of traffic here um but it's not like bright red it's kind of just like slightly orange mostly green um so this all looks fine for now and i'm not really too worried about setting up public transport just yet but i have a feeling that as we uh, expand especially this industrial sector over here uh, i think things are gonna get pretty busy pretty quickly now i don't know quite how i want to do this side over here do i want to do the same thing that i've done over here and kind of have this like weird crisscrossy pattern uh we might do i think for now we'll just kind of fill in these two zones i think that'll be more than enough for the uh 2900 people that we currently have i think our next milestone is at like 3000 to 4000 so when we hit 4000 people we will unlock the next milestone my goodness they all built up real quick um and also uh, one thing I did do between episodes, actually, is I tweaked the budget quite a bit. You'll notice right now, uh, we're making quite a bit of money. We're making over $2,000 uh, per week, which is great for really early on in the game. Uh, and the reason we're making that much is because I tweaked quite a lot of these. A lot of them are down at 75% uh, because things like um, medical care, the fire station, uh, especially parks and then buildings, don't really need to be 100% straight away. Uh, and then I also increased taxes for everybody up to 12%. I think 12% is kind of where people are willing to tolerate it. Uh, I might lower that down a little bit to try and encourage some people to move in. But for now, I kind of just want to make a bit of money so we can get them some things like started here. Let's go across and give these guys water. And we are also having people die, which is not great. This game, one thing that does kind of annoy me about this game a little bit is the way that sometimes people will just start dying randomly. Like right now, a bunch of people are dying. I'm thinking, what have I done? That is causing people to die. We're having a bit of an issue with uh, trash. We should probably go ahead. Do I want to spend... I don't want to spend 100000 on a recycle cent. So I would like to. Because then it means we don't have these landfills. Which I actually kind of hate. But it also means that we lose like $100,000. Which is not really something I'm willing to do just yet. We do have a cemetery over here, which is nowhere near full. It's currently at 192 people out of 3,000, so it's nowhere near full. It should be quite easily able to get to all of these guys. The roads are clear. They should be very easily able to come pick up these dead bodies. So I'm not quite sure what's going on over here. It could be the trash. Oh, actually, looking at it, it could be the fact that, tr like, this... It could have been this thing here. Because this is full, the trash wasn't getting picked up, and that could have killed people. I don't know, but people seem to be dying real quick, which is not, not great. Wow. But uh, anyway, let's work a little bit more on this section. What I'm thinking of doing here 
is having like all of this be residential. I think I might get rid of this commercial down here and make all of this residential. And then what I'm thinking is having like a strip in the middle, like this square here, making this oh, sewage. What? Oh, is power going down again? What? How are we losing so much power? Again, look at this. These guys are complaining about a uh, not enough fuel. What the heck? Okay, well, in that case, let's quickly throw down like one or two more of these. I guess one would be fine for now, possibly. Yeah, it took us just up over on this little bar here. So that should keep things at least on. I'll keep the lights on for now. But so what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of having a residential either side of like a big commercial district down the middle here. Uh, and we'll also like run residential down this side, run residential down this side, and have like a big commercial thing in the middle. Uh, and then I'm thinking like this road and this road can be our tram road. Because I looked at the trams uh, and I also watched some people play this game. And uh, trams have to kind of loop around on the road. So I'm thinking about having like a nice big, if we go over to here, uh, I'm going to make them two lane i'm gonna kind of ignore these six lane roads for now because i don't really think we need them but i'm gonna have a nice two lane road that comes all the way down here i'm gonna pause real quick because everyone's gonna complain about electricity any second now but i'm gonna have some nice two lane roads that come all the way down here I'm gonna try and keep them as straight as possible i think we'll have it come like there and then across like that. And then all of this throughout here. And I might even I'll leave that there for now. Uh, all of this throughout here is going to be like a big commercial district. And we're going to have residential either side. And then the industrial over on that side. And hopefully uh, that will work out nicely. Wow. Everybody is complaining about their garbage not being picked up. These guys are rightfully complaining about not having water. Which I guess is fine. Um, what is our current... Uh, budget like for garbage we should probably pump that up a little bit maybe it's like one two five uh, again i'm not quite sure if you need to do it both day and night but i'm going to do it just in case we'll throw both those on there uh, sewage should be being taken care of oh no we took off the power no okay let's go ahead and bump you guys i want to i don't want to go through this section because i don't quite i don't like having these pylons in the place where people build because then they end up with like weird buildings that don't look great so i'm going to do this like that. It's a little bit more expensive, but that should hopefully drive power over to our, like, sewage outflow there. and should stop everybody crying about stuff. Wow, there are a lot of dead people over here. What the heck is going on? Uh, we will throw down another cemetery, like, right about there. And then, you know what? We will also... I'm not going to dezone this just yet. I am going to dezone this and make this all uh, residential in a second. But for now, let's look into this bit over here. How do I want this to look? I'm thinking... We're obviously going to have some stores uh, on the front here, but I also kind of want to have some, like, little back roads as well. Maybe for stores, maybe for, like, offices later on down the line. But we do want to have, like, a few back roads. Um, but do I want them to be... Mm, I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look at roundabouts real quick. That one's a small roundabout. No, this one's a real small roundabout. I think we might put, like, a little small roundabout there and then have, like, a little shopping center within this thing, like this maybe. You know, just to keep it, like, nice and central, make it, like, its own little thing. And then maybe do, like, the same thing over on this side. So have it come out and then go across and across. We probably shouldn't have gone quite so far out, but that looks quite nice. Uh, and then we'll, like, hook it up, like, here and here. And this can be, like, a nice little shopping department in the middle. I kind of like that. I think that looks kind of cool. We have reached 4,000 people. I clicked escape way too quickly there. Uh, city policies, tourism specialization, which I think was new in After Dark. Anti-slip studs. Which is, I guess, the new thing. Still the tires. Oh, we can, like... Oh, I'm guessing that's another... Um, yeah, these are all new policies that we can, like, force people to use better tires. Oh, jeez. Police headquarters. Uh, the snowmobile track. Oh, all kinds of cool stuff. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, cool. So, what I'm thinking is we're going to make all of this here, like, a nice little commercial area where people can come and just, like, shop. They're going to, like, you know, they've had a hard day at work. They've been in the industrial sector all day, which is, you know, on fire and it uh, doesn't have sewage. But, you know, <laughs> when you're finished with that, uh, why do you not have power? Oh, we're not making enough power again. What the heck is going on with this city? My goodness. All right, let's throw down another one of these turbines. The reason I'm throwing these turbines down and not like an oil power plant or a coal power plant is that these seem to be the issue. These ones are, again, not producing any power whatsoever. Uh, and so we kind of just need to, to focus on those for a while. Hopefully, that might have fixed sewage. Maybe I have to put down another outflow pipe. Although, to be fair, this one's not getting power, so I don't really feel too confident about that. You know what? I will put down another one of these. That should be more than enough for now to get things up and running. I should take us up to like 177. It's not. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, 180. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're now up. Okay, good. <laughs> Everything's working again. Nice. All right, let's go and let's unzone all of this. I'm going to unzone it and we're going to make it all some nice little bits of residential. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of you. And all of you, and you, and you know what? I'll leave this here. This little store, what's this? This is the general store. I will leave this one 
little general stores, Bob's Burgers. I will leave this one here next to the cemetery. If you would like to sell stuff, you are more than welcome to. Uh, we have a huge power issue. That is fine. Let's do that. Good stuff. Okay. And then we should start getting a bunch of stores popping up over here. Nice. I like this. I like this a lot. So we'll do this. We'll kind of make sure everyone gets a little bit of coverage like that. I know that is the best pipe work that you have ever seen. But we'll do that like that. Can we put like a little park in the middle of this thing? Oh, we almost can. Well, that might be a smaller one maybe. Or one that fit. Oh, that's way too big. Um, or maybe like a little snow bit. Oh, we can't fit them in there. That's so annoying. Um, do we want to have like a big, like, oh, we could put like a sledding hill. Oh, my goodness. Do we want to have that down there? That could be pretty cool. A skating ring. You know what? Yeah, let's put like a skating ring uh, in the middle here. So like encourage people to come and, and shop at this like little shopping area. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. People are already skating on it. Like we bought it with skaters already. Wow. Not enough heat. Uh, that is a good point, actually. We should probably look into the heating side of things, especially uh, with all of our citizens complaining about power. I think most of our power situation uh, problems will go away if we invest in the heating. So let's go over to here. Uh, we can either get a boiler station or a geothermal heating plant. I think for now, we're going to stick to the boiler station because this thing costs 55000 Actually, I don't know. Is this better? They both... This one's actually cheaper to run. While using geothermal energy is not as effective as fossil fuels, it is very safe for the environment. The geothermal heating plant pumps heat from deep within the earth to distribute it to citizens. Okay, so I think that one's like a... It's cheaper to run, but it's... And it's cheaper overall, but it's not going to produce as much heat. This one produces 120 megawatts. This one only produces 80. For now, I'm going to go with the boiler. And I'm going to put it, I guess, like over here next to... I don't really like putting stuff here because it's going to make all of these guys... Like, complain about stuff? Like, what is this guy complaining about? Citizens are sick. I mean, that might have something to do with the garbage over the road. I'm not too sure. Uh, you know what? For now, we'll put this over in the industrial sector like that. And then we're going to have to invest in some heating pipes for all these guys. So, we'll run this along all the way down, for now at least, to this new residential district. So, this district here is going to be the first one in which we test our theory. This costs a thousand a time. Jeez, this is expensive. But this is going to be the first city and we are losing money real quick but uh, where we test our new heating system so this district we're going to change the rules and say that you can only use you cannot use electricity you are not allowed to use electricity for heat and hopefully hopefully that will work out maybe is that not connected up do i have to like connect this individually to this i might have to do that actually yeah that makes a lot of sense can i do that do i have to make it like a normal pipe first uh let's see if i do this Oh, this is just too close. Oh, it's just too close. Okay, let's do that. And then let's upgrade these to heat-capable pipes. And then hopefully... There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, all of these guys are complaining about water. Not quite sure why. It's now gone. Uh, look at that. Look at that. We've, we've, we've just, like, slashed our energy usage by a ton. I love it. Okay, so that was pretty expensive. Um, it cost us quite a bit to get all the pipes down underneath. But now all of these guys are nice and warm. Um using our new heating system over here instead of using uh, the electricity to power it, which is good because our electricity has been a little fickle over the past few uh, the past few weeks here. So uh, we currently have a lot of demand for commercial. So let's go ahead and finish up over here, putting like a bunch of commercial down all around this new sector. Uh, we'll put it there and there. Not too sure. You know what? Yeah, we'll put it all the way around the edges as well. We'll do like this and this and this and this. And boom, look at that. That's like a beautiful commercial district. You can shop. You can do everything you need to within this district. It's also like a nice little area in the middle. It's beautiful. We can get some like trees if we want. You know, like, like a nice little tree area in the middle here. Look at this. Oh, look at these little, little Christmas trees. We'll fill this area up in the middle. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Who wouldn't want to live here? I would definitely want to live here. All right, beautiful. So what uh, other issues do we currently have? Currently garbage. Garbage is still a huge issue. Um, I guess we can pump up the, the, the we can pump it up again, but it's going to be a flipping pain in the backside um right what do i want to work on now i kind of feel like i want to work on this tram thing i don't know if we need it just yet but i kind of want to work on it uh, anyway because it's new and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build a tram station i'm gonna build it uh, do i want to build it like here i think i'll build it in the m where do i want to build this thing uh i might put it like right there it's pretty far away, but it should be close enough to get power from this line here, which is nice. And then we can also, we're going to run the tram, like, all the way around here, loop it, and have it come back around. So the tram's just going to loop around like this, uh, and the plan's going to be that we're going to have, like, buses that circle around both of these individual residential areas, as well as the industrial area. And then the tram's going to be, like, the central way to get from 
your like bus stop to where you want to go. So you're going to take a bus from where you live to the tram line and then get on the tram and go around this big area here. Maybe even go, we might extend it like out and under over here to the industrial sector or something like that. We'll see how that works out. Uh, are we, ooh, let's look at water real quick. Yeah, we're running out of water availability, which is not great. Let me quickly do a check on pollution. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any pollution down here, so I'm going to put uh, a water pump. I'm a little iffy on it because I feel like this, this garbage might infect it a little bit. But uh, for now, we will do something along the lines of this. Hopefully, that should solve all of our water problems. We might also want to put down another sewage outflow pipe like so. Cool. I would like to get these uh, water treatment plants at some point, but for now, that should work just fine. How are we doing on electricity? We're doing okay, although we are still going flipping, still using so much of the stuff. Wow, it's crazy. Um, people are sick. Uh, that is not surprising. We cannot move these, unfortunately, now uh, until we actually move the whole thing. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to unzone this. You don't have to live next to the dump. We're going to move the dump when we can over to this side, but for now, we actually can't do that. I think what I'll do next is that when we unlock incinerators, I'll start putting incinerators over on this side and then tell these guys to go and empty all of their landfill into the incinerators and then we can go ahead and put some more people down uh, over here as well uh, how is traffic doing real quick uh, traffic is still fine it's a little bad over here again but it's not like too bad that we're stopping the garbage trucks getting to where they need to be look at that they're all coming in i think just there in fleets lovely uh, but yeah let's get this tram up and running people are complaining about garbage geez uh, do we put down another landfill you know what yeah i'll put down one over here and that will hopefully uh like count it'll hopefully get this cleaned up a little faster, but then also maybe help over here a little bit as well. But uh, yeah, let's get this tram up and running. So what we have to do is go over to the two-lane roads and upgrade all of our roads to tram roads like this. Now, I don't think it matters which way they go, and I realize I am getting rid of these six-lane roads to upgrade them with uh, two-lane roads, but I'm fairly certain that we haven't unlocked uh, a six-lane tram road yet, if there is one at all. I don't know if there is. Um, no, there isn't one. So we've got to go with this, um, this two-lane road here, and we're going to have it loop all the way around like so. Nice. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So now, we've got this, like, cable in the middle of all of our road here that can carry the tram all the way around. Oh, my goodness. Look at the garbage. Wow. Uh, but anyway, let's go back over here. Uh, now we just need to put some stops down. So we're, we're of course, going to have one, like, outside the station. Uh, we're going to loop around. Right now, we don't really need any stops along here because there's not any point. You know what? I'll put some down anyway because eventually we are going to have um, a bunch more, like, commercial over here. So people are going to want to stop at all of these different sections. So we'll put down a bunch of stops all the way around. So you can stop, you can get off at your favorite shop, wherever you want to be. Gonna loop it all the way back around. Like so. Beautiful. Uh, do we want to have one going the other way? We've got an achievement. Here is a tram. Uh, do we want to have one going the other way around that kind of loops around this way? I think we probably do. Uh, and we'll do like, the exact same on this side. We'll have it so that they go all the way around, but just on the other side of the road. I don't think it can hurt, and it probably gives us like uh, a few more. Look at this. Tram's already, already moving. Beautiful. So we'll do all this. We'll stick you up there. Uh, one thing that I did figure out is that you can actually change the, um, I think if we go to the uh, transport tab, instead of clicking down here, if you go to the transport tab, you can then click on these lines. You can name them. So we currently have tram line one and two, but also more importantly, you can change the color. And I say more importantly, because it's nice to be able to, like, distinguish which one's which. So right now I can see that we have specifically two lines. This is especially useful when you have bus lines that overlap. Because uh, up until recently, I had no idea this was a thing. And so whenever I was doing a bus line, it was, like, almost impossible to, sell, to tell, like, which bus line was which. Which is really annoying. What is up with the, the heating? Oh, my goodness. Heating availability is, like, nowhere near enough. It's because we're not getting enough fuel. Oh, what the heck? We're getting the same stuff happening again. Is it, like... I have no idea what's causing that. Uh, let's take, turn that off so that people can use electricity if they so wish. Which they're probably going to end up doing. But, geez, let's get rid of some of these abandoned houses over here. Uh, we'll get rid of you as well. Okay, cool. Um, hopefully that, that picks up again pretty soon. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, look at this. Look at these trams going around. Oh, my goodness. People are using them. Look at this. People are waiting to get on the trams. It's beautiful. Uh, let's take a quick look. I wonder actually how many people are using them. We have 10 people. Look at that, guys. 10 people have chosen to use the trams. Beautiful. Uh, okay, our city is a little bit of a mess right now. Uh, I think we should probably put the fire department back up to 100% budget because right now uh, we are having quite a few fires, which is not great. So we'll bump that back up to 100%. Garbage is already as high as it can go, which is not a great sign considering what's going on over here. I'm surprised there's so much garbage. Uh, what we could do, I think is increase the budget for roads. I think this might be something that's causing an issue. Uh, we're going to go up to 125. Now, this is pretty expensive. Roads like one of our biggest um, 
it's up here. It's like one of the biggest expenses. But I think what's happening is there's not enough like snow plows and stuff going around. If we look at the uh, the budget thing here, it says adjust the budget to decide how many vehicles road maintenance and snowed up have at their disposal. So I'm thinking it might be um, a road issue. Maybe our roads are too snowy or just like too bad or something that's causing the the, 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 the dump guys not to get around here. The dump guys, that's a horrible name. But uh, the garbage guys to not come around here. Uh, or maybe even the guys delivering all of the fuel to the, the coal and the boiler. I can't really think why else they would not be getting stuff like they're connected to the highway they're connected people from this section of town can easily get over to this section so i'm not quite sure why that's happening um but what i think i might do here just to connect to Bar city a little bit uh is have a road a tram road that goes underground here i think we can have trams that go underground right we have a tram that goes under here under the highway and then comes out on this side like that and then we're going to have to upgrade these roads here real quick to tram roads. I am going to put a policy in place. Now, this is a bit of an issue, isn't it? I think we might. Hmm. Where do I want this to come back from? Do I want it to come back, like, here and kind of loop down? It's going to have to go underground again, obviously. But let's see if we can kind of, like, loop. We can go there. Can we then, like, loop it a little bit to get to, to, get to there? I think we can. It's a bit, it's a, it's a bit iffy. But it should work. It should work. So uh, let's go quickly back over to public transport. What we're going to do is we're going to allow people. I think we can just click and drag to add other stops, if I'm not mistaken. It says, clear. yeah. Oh, no, I don't create a new line. I want to drag to add stop. Here we go. So we're going to add a stop over here. And then we'll also add, like, a stop here. Can I drag drag to add a stop? I want to add a stop there. Beautiful. So now they're going to stop here. They're going to stop here. And then they come back around again. So beautiful. That, that line now goes all the way around. We'll do the exact same thing. For the red line, we'll have the red line go all the way around as well. This one's going to stop over here. Uh, and that looks fine. So now you can get to work by the tram if you'd like. I will go ahead and put down uh, a block. I'm going to put like a little district here. It's not going to do much really. It's not going to be like any, uh, like a district that people live in. Uh, I believe highways are not affected by uh, traffic bans. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure people can use that road. But basically, we're going to say that you cannot use this tram road for uh, industrial traffic. So basically, all the guys who are carrying goods to these cannot use this tram road. Because I want to make sure that most of the heavy traffic is kind of reserved for the highway and using these uh, the highway in and out. Again, I don't think it matters um, on the highway. I kind of want to make sure that we don't cover up these roads here because I'm fine with them using these roads. But I know... Oh, I've heard, is that fine? Yeah, the Dean District. Okay, let's get rid of this and let's get rid of that. That, it's a bit of a mess, not gonna lie, it's a massive, huge mess, but hopefully the plan here is to go into here, go into policies, go to city planning, and ban heavy traffic. So heavy traffic is not allowed to use this district here, and hopefully that'll stop um, a bunch of, like, lorries and stuff trying to use these roads, and instead we'll preserve them for the customers, so, the, the, like, the, the, the people who actually work in the industry over here, and all of the lorries and stuff will kind of stick to the highway. That's the plan, at least, I want to make sure that the city is, like, as easy to get to uh, as possible for the people who are living in it. And, and I really like this, actually. I was surprised. Uh, I didn't actually, like, plan this beforehand, but this, I like the, uh, the little ring road we got in the middle there. That is kind of cool. I like it. Cool. All right. Uh, we are having issues with heating again. Uh, I'm assuming that you are not getting any fuel. That is true. Power is a little bit iffy. Uh, unfortunately, we can't afford any of the higher tier ones. So again, we're just going to have to add like a few more of these guys. Thankfully, our money has been coming in quite steadily uh, over the past few episodes. You know what? I'm going to decrease. Do I want to decrease taxes? I was going to decrease taxes, but looking at our city, we've got quite a bit of demand for, uh, for everything. And we're making like a really nice amount of money right now as well, which is kind of great. Little amount of people complaining about crime. Uh, we could probably do with another police station. Uh, do we have two? We have one. So I'll put down another police station over on this side, like that. Uh, as far as healthcare goes, these guys are a little bit worse for wear. We'll put down, like, another medic center over here. And then the fire department uh, is kind of poor everywhere. So we'll put down one uh, for these guys, because these guys are probably going to suffer big time from fires. And we'll put down one over here as well, because why not for all these guys? And you know what? Uh, I'm not going to put one here. I was going to put one in the middle for all the shoppers and stuff. But for now, uh, I'm going to leave that how it is. Uh, it looks like we may have started to get fuel back for these guys, so all of that has fixed itself. Oh my goodness, so many dings. Everyone is like, wow, flipping. They built us a medical center, they built us a fire truck station, and they built us a police station. Look at that. These guys, the mayor loves us. The mayor loves us. And we do. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's see about extending out a little bit. What I think I'm going to do 
is I think I'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing that we've been doing up until now. We're going to have a road that comes across out here. We're going to build another district that looks... Uh, exactly the same as this one here, which is going to be like another one of these, but just up a little bit uh, further on. Now, again, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to figure out exactly how wide the original one was to make it just as wide. But I kind of want to fit, you know, we'll go all the way up to the top here. I kind of want to try and fit two of these in if possible. So I'll do that. Do I want to have one big district here or do I want to like cut it in the middle and have like two smaller ones? I think we might be fine with like one big district sure why not so let's go up our single lane tools again and let's quickly go ahead and road this place up And there we go. We've got a nice new road layer over here for a new district that we'll probably set up at the beginning of next episode. We've got a nice new area over here for another bunch of commercial. Because our commercial demand is actually surprisingly high still, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and punch, like just throw down a bunch more of these trees. Because I think they look really nice in the middle here. And oh my gosh, I can hear all the trams like dinging as they go around. Well, that is great. How many people are using trams now? 111 per week. I mean, we only have 5,000 citizens, so 111 is not all that much. But still... That's like a nice amount of people using the trams. Uh, the tram does, I guess that doesn't really need to be a tram road. I'm going to change it just so that like little notification there goes away. That should be fine. It can still look around nicely. I like it. I like it a lot. How are we doing for traffic real quick? Let's have a look. Traffic is not too bad. It's not great, but I think the trams are probably definitely helping on this loop around here. Wow, it's real bad up here. Is that like just all tram traffic because there's like a stop here? That could possibly be the case. Uh, and also, we do have some fires going around. I think what I'll do between episodes is, is install the uh, the mod that automatically bulldozes abandoned houses and uh, burned down houses as well, just so we don't spend too much time uh, doing all that kind of stuff. This doesn't go anywhere, but doesn't need to now, because before uh, there was nothing in the middle. Now it's all connected up nicely. We're doing final power. As long as uh, stuff keeps getting delivered to the coal power plants and the boiler station, we shouldn't run out of electricity or heating anytime soon. That should all be nice. Uh, no one's using this road here for heavy traffic which is good and uh, yeah we'll come back next time we'll expand a little bit more we'll do this we'll do this we might even go ahead and buy a new area possibly this one over here i think we do can yeah we can buy one you know what I'm gonna do it now boom bought it so i might put like a little bit of uh, uh, a housing estate over here i think i might wait until we get um Ooh, yeah, we're really close to getting high-density residentials. So I think I might make this area over here like our exclusive high-density residential island where you can go and live if you want to live in high-density residential, I guess. We should also probably take a look at some of our other services like education. It's still a little bit low, but all of that is for next episode, guys. For now, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, as always, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys next time.